Good morning, guys. Today I'm at La Mesa in Covina, California. Um, they specialize in Filipino food and with a modern twist. And I'm here for a five pound pork belly challenge. Oh my god, that sounds so good. I love pork belly. I'm excited for this. Let's go check it out. So we're in the kitchen. It's being made right now. I just learned that this fried pork belly is traditionally called lechon kawale. And then, um, but here they have their own twist, I guess from like a different province, from a different area. So instead of like the traditional salt they use, they use fish sauces and then it's called baknet. So I'm excited to try this out. It smells really good. Hey guys, so here it is. This is the massive feast at La Mesa in Covina, California. Again, I'm having five pounds of pork belly as my challenge. But on the side, we also have bone marrow. It's gonna be my first time having bone marrow. Do you see that? It looks so, so good. And then um, we also got green beans. We got a salad. And this is their crispy adobo. It's not the traditional adobo. So this place is sells Filipino food with like a modern twist. So. It looks very interesting. I haven't tried any of this. And of course, we got, I never had Halo Halo either. So I'm excited to try that. We've got coconut water and coke. the um, logo's on the coconut. That's so cute. Um, and over here, we have the fried crab. Soft shell crab. That looks good too. So do you guys think I can eat all that pork belly? It's a lot of pork belly. But look at that. I saw it being fried. It looks so juicy. Oh my god. Belly so much. So anyway, let me put my hair up real quick and we will get started. I'm so excited to eat all this. Yay! Okay. Alright, let's try this. Try this pork belly. We've got sauce over here. There's like a vinegar dressing, I think. Ah. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. That meat just melts. I don't know what that is. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. The skin is almost like a chip. That is delicious. Mmm. That sauce is a little bit sweet too. Mmm. That's just really well. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. Wow. You should even have fried pork belly. It tends to get like more dry. Oh, that is perfect. Whatever they did, the juice is still intact in there. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. So this is a fairly new place I opened up. And um, they also got like breakfast buffets and they got lunch specials. So make sure to come try this place out. It's so good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh. Oh, well, the salad is really good too. It's like refreshing. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Let's put some of their tea here. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, everything's got like a nice citrusy taste to it too. Mmm. Dude, I can't eat this. It's just a lot of chewing, but I think I can eat all that. Mmm. Oh my god. Now the owner told me that bone marrow is usually served with bread, but these are the Filipino crackers. So instead of bread, they use these crackers. I never had bone marrow served like this. I've had bone marrow, but not like this. Let's try this. Mmm. Oh wow. Mmm. Oh my god, it's so good. That's such a strong flavor. Oh, the cracker is actually really good. Mmm. Wow. I never knew bone marrow was this tasty. It's so juicy, too. Mmm. Wow. Wow. And I've never seen another Filipino place serve bone marrow. This is the first Filipino place to also have bone marrow. Oh my god. Can I eat this meat? <laughs> the meat's actually pretty good, too. I know you're not supposed to eat it. I'm not supposed to eat burnt stuff, but yellow. 
I love bread food. Or like, I love charred food. Mmm. Mmm. And that's why I like fried food. Mm. 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 A little bit of salad, a little bit of fried pork belly. Mm. Each bite is just like so much flavor. Mm. Be like sit down talking, eating food. <clears throat> Do you guys like it? Like you can like enjoy the food with me. Mm. And in my last video, you guys wanted to ask like how do I keep the weight off? Guys, I eat, I run like five miles a day, and I walk a lot. So it's honestly just a lot of exercising. If you watch all the other ones, you know I should be 200 pounds. So. Oh. I exercise to eat. Mm. I'm actually eating more now than I did um, when I was 200. Mm -hmm. And I eat a lot more frequent now rather than all at once. Unless I'm doing this, then I just eat this all at once. But in my opinion, multiple small meals throughout the day. It helps you out better because it like you know it keeps your metabolism going. Oh. So you don't just slow down, get a food coma and blah. You know. I'm just constantly active. And this raspberry vinaigrette on the salad is really good. Mmm. 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 Yeah. Mm. You guys like green beans? I love green beans. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Yummy. Mm. I like how they all don't overcook their veggies either. Hi. I go to a restaurant. Oh my god. This veg is too soft. Why? I know my mom makes it that way. My mom overcooks the veggies. It's like black. Mm. Definitely need my veggies to have like a texture. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Seriously, this pork belly is not getting old at all. I'm still going hard on it. Mmm. Oh. Just melts in your mouth. Oh my god. Mmm. It was like really soft. Mm. All right, guys. I know I said I hate bacon, but I love pork belly. See, the difference is bacon is like so thin, and it gets so salty when you like cook it with everything. I mean, there's some bacon I like, but I don't like when it's just all completely like fried. You know. Like, see, the outside is fried, but you can, like, still taste the meat inside. 
I like this. I like the thick cut pork belly. I like it thick. No? Mmm. Mm. Oh my god. And it out crunch of the shell. It's like chinchilla. long. It's good. Mm. Like a chip. Mm. Let's try the soft shell crab. I haven't tried this yet. I do love crab. <clears throat> Fry in the batter, and they also have like sauce on there. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Nice. Good. So I'm never gonna say no to fried food. That's bad, but yeah, you know, I love fried food. Mmm. Huh? I actually like these crackers. Sky flakes. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Very flaky, very buttery. Everything's come together really, really well. So that mesa also has um, it's got karaoke, it's got a bar, it's got delicious food. Come check this place out, dude. Mm. 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 You need to try this pork belly. It's honestly the best, one of the best fried pork bellies I've ever had. As usually. Usually a lot of the fried purple it gets dried up. And this one is still super juicy on the inside. Mm. Oh, damn. It's dripping. Ooh, that's good. Oh, it's very light. Mm. And also for the hollow hollow, the dessert. <clears throat> they sweeten the veggies, them um, the fruits themselves, they boil it. Oh. Everything is made in house. Lumpia is also handmade. Mm. Mm. Oh, I know you guys ask me like, what's my favorite type of food too? I just like good food. I'm not picky. I'll eat anything besides like, two exotic things. I won't eat bugs. I cannot eat balu. I just, that thing, I cannot. Mm. Scares me. I can't eat frog either. But I think that's because my daddy traumatized me when I was young. Oh. 
He was eating frog and he told me it was chicken. And I was like, no, you know, don't do that to your kids. Don't lie to your kids. You'll traumatize them. I got traumatized. I was like, I eat a mean frog. Oh my God. Mm. It's like the other day when I was hanging out with Nick, we were eating takoyaki. Takoyaki are octopus balls, but he thought it was octopus testicles. It was funny. Mmm. Should have seen his reaction. It was, it was, you need to watch the video. It was so cute. Mmm. Okay. <clears throat> I like Kobe actually has like um he has like the world record of eating monkey brains. He ate like 15 pounds of monkey brains in seven minutes or something. I'm like wow, that is gonna traumatize you to never eat monkey brains again. Cause in an interview he's like, yeah, I think I'm good on monkey brains for the rest of my life. I don't need any more monkey brains. I'm like, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Oh, oh my god. The other day, no surprise, he won the taco eating contest. He ate like 157 tacos in like 10 minutes or something. Oh my god. He tweeted me back on Twitter before. I was like, oh, Senpai noticed me. Mm -hmm. I had to meet him one day though. He seems like a really cool guy. Mm. A little bit too tough. Mm. I love the raspberry vinaigrette on this dressing so much. It actually goes really well with the pork belly because it's like fruity, it's like sour, a little bit sour, a little bit acidic. Mmm. It's green beans still. Mmm. 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 Yeah, I showed my boyfriend um Kobayashi. He was like so fascinated. This Kobayashi is like <clears throat> He's, good. he's buff. And after he eats, like his stomach expands, but you see his fat belly, and that fat belly still remains a six pack. It's so interesting. It's like, how does that happen, you know? Hmm. Yeah, it does. It's very interesting. Mm. I'm not getting here. Mm. It's amazing. I'm actually not getting flavor fatigue at all. It's still really, really good. Usually sometimes when I do food challenges, like after a certain point, I just like, I really don't want to eat this anymore. This one is like, I can still go. I think it's because I'm eating so many veggies and I'm pairing with so many stuff. There's a variety. Mm. Mm. So having a variety definitely helps. Plus, um, Mm. There's a lot of pork in uh, Chinese cuisine too. So, I'm very used to eating pork. Yeah. I didn't eat much chicken, I mean beef, growing up. Mm. Mm. Now, I know there's, I know there's a, you know, of course there's beef, chicken, Chinese dishes, but I don't have much of it. Usually it's um <clears throat> pork or chicken. I think it's because um the meat is cheaper. Because beef gets expensive. 
And yeah, I don't think my family bought too much meat. We had a lot of veggies. Oh my god. And seriously, the feels because when you grow up, you learn to appreciate your family more. Because you realize. And I look back, and I go, you know, my grandparents and parents, they would just give all the meat to me, you know, because I'm young give the kid the meat because they're growing and they, they just eat veggies themselves and it's like no it feels appreciate your family guys your family's always got your back even though like every kid goes through like that emo phase oh my god the other day i was talking to my boyfriend and then we we're like um because um in my ipod I, you know i have songs from like my entire lifetime mm -hmm. like it pops up right So a song by um, Linkin Park came out. What I've done. What I've done. That one. So we were like, oh man, this is feels. And he's like, oh yeah. No. I don't know, like in middle school, early high school. You just kind of go through that like um, emo phase, right? Hmm. Yeah. Oh my god. I remember in my email face. God, I hated my parents. I think every kid did. Not every kid, okay, I'm sorry, but like, majority. Mm. I look back, oh my god, I was a stupid little kid. Didn't appreciate my family. Not a do. Now I take care of my daddy. Mm, and mommy. Mm. <laughs> my boyfriend too. During the emo phase, he had like the side hair, the well emo phase, and I always always put my bangs like mm, I was like really emo. Don't want to talk to anybody. I guess the moral of that was be respectful to your parents, guys. Mm. Mm. Okay. Little kids watching me, she's super cute. That's really good. It's like shaved ice. Mm. Oh, that's really good. It's like coconut milk. Yum. I love coconut juice, by the way. Mm. I love coconut stuff, yeah. I love tropical flavors. Yeah. <clears throat> I remember when I was young too. But my family also likes eating seafood. When we're eating fish, my grandpa would wear like double glasses just to make sure he got all the fish bones out for me so I don't choke. Mm. So sad. Not sad, but it is very touchy. Yeah. Mm. 
And it just makes me feel bad because, you know, I just feel like I'm so stupid for not realizing how important family is until I'm like older. You know, I was a pretty bad kid. I was a pretty bad kid. No, not bad. I'm just rebellious. Mm. Mm. Honestly, though, like even now, my family, um, so lazy. I don't like peeling shrimp. I only peel the shrimp still. <gasps> peeling shrimp is annoying, okay? I'm not. It just it gets so into it, into your like nails. <clears throat> Do you guys eat the shrimp head? My grandma eats the shrimp heads. No, how she does it, it freaks me out. But yeah, I mean, you could cook the shrimp without the shell on, but it actually contains more flavor when you cook it with. And then there's more, it tastes a lot better when you cook the shrimp with the shrimp, the shell on. And then you peel it after, and it's like, oh, oh my god, all the juice is infused. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's almost there, guys. Mmm. What okay, gave you there? Mmm. I don't feel like too full. I just feel a little bit of oil overload right now because it is fat, it's pork belly. Mm. And it's fried, so. Mm. Mm. But like I said, having a variety helps like counteract all the fight stuff. Mm. I really like this thing. I want to. <clears throat> I just can't really like drink it. Ooh, shaved ice. Oh, that's so good. It tastes like coconut milk. Mm. With a little bit of like fruitiness to it. I think uh, ube flavor. I love ube. Mmm. Ooh, this is good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's not even ice cream. It's like chewy. Almost tastes like, oh, is that caramel? Tastes like caramel. That's good. Mm. So I didn't even know that la mesa means the table um, in Spanish. And also, it's because um, the owner told me that Filipino has a lot of Spanish influence because they were, um, I don't know, like governed by them or something. So the language is kind of similar, I guess. But yeah, it's cool. La mesa means the table. Mm. Mm.
Oh man, it's so good. It tastes like it's so really good. Mmm. Yeah, come try their adobo too. The adobo sauce is amazing. Mmm. The bananas and the sweet potatoes, because they boil them in house. I'm honestly not full at all. It's actually very good. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not like full full. I'm just the flavor fatigue is hitting. Hmm. Too much fat ones. But still delicious. Mmm, I love these crackers. The crackers are a nice, like, balance, too. Mmm. You know? Mmm. Mmm. No. Yeah. I like salting crackers. I'm gonna put this on top of each pork belly. yellow thing is that's really good too it's like a caramel it's, mm, it's not that sweet it's not like sweet sweet it's sweet but it's like a good sweet <laughs> mm. It's actually really good. Crackers and a pork roll. starting getting a favorite fatigue. Mm. Let me try some of this coconut juice. Mm. Ooh, yeah, I love. I love the coconut meat. So good. Mm. Do you like I say coconut? It's just hard. It's hard to get meat down. I guess that's why coconut water is so expensive. Mm. They're just buying the water inside the juice. Mm. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of effort to get to that. But that's why coconut water is a delicacy. Mmm. Mm.
All right, guys, let me know. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not a chewy. Sorry, huh? Mmm. Let me know what kind of food you want to see me eat. Mmm. Mmm. And if you like this video, what kind of topics should I talk about? I read your comments, don't worry. If you take the time to watch my video, I'll take the time to read your comments. Trust me. I read everything. pieces left. Mm. Okay, by the way, someone told me that pork belly is usually served in one pound for a serving. For family style. So I just ate like five family style worth of pork belly. <laughs> Mmm. It's a lot. Mmm. Plus I like, put all my veggies. Remember kids, in addition to being respectful to your parents, eat your veggies. Mmm. I'm ready for now. It's a lot of food. Yeah. Just like saving the last bit. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm good. Definitely want to try this though. The ube creme brulee with the edible flour. I don't have a spoon right now. I'm sorry. Mm. Oh, that's good. I'm just gonna kill this thing. Oh, it's like an ube flan. Mmm, I'm like pudding. Wow, that is really good. Caramel. Mmm. Okay. All right. After this. Mmm. Wow, that's really good. I'm done.
and that's all the coconut water. Yay, we did it. Okay, so you guys come check out La Mesa restaurant in um, Covina. Modern Filipino food, it's really, really, really tasty. I don't recommend eating five pounds of but bit bit big mitt. Big mitt. I forgot the name. I'm sorry. It'll be in the description, but check this place out. Fried crispy pork belly. It's delicious. Let them know I sent you. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you didn't. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And make sure to check out my website for all my merchandise. I've got clothing, prints, and stickers all up on there. And make sure to check out my social media, my Facebook page. Um, I do a lot of live streaming and on my Instagram page. I do a lot of giveaways and on my Twitter page. I also give a shout out to where I might be so you guys can kind of follow me on my journey, okay? And then check out my other videos. And again, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye bye.